Welcome back to Chains. Today is April 6th and we have a lot of news to share, so let's get right into it. Hey Centurions, you can sign up for classes under the Hospitality Career Pathway. Not Theme Park Entertainment classes are Tuesday and Thursday from 3.45 to 6.15 p.m. and then only on Tuesdays when students are in the theme park areas training. Hotel and hospitality classes are Monday and Wednesday from 3.45 to 6.15 p.m and then only on Wednesdays when students are in the hotels and training. Students must be 16 years old or turn 16 before you can work at Knott's or the hotel. Both classes are after school and will be held at Knott's Berry Farm. Additional information can be found on the website under Regional Course 2021-2022 to on the website shown on the slide. Also, fillable pre-enrollment forms must be submitted to Mrs. Gaston by email. Download the form to fill in from the other website shown on the slide. If you have any questions, please contact your counselor. Students, if you like to write, sing, or perform, come join the Cypress Poetry Club at their open mic night on April 8th from 6 to 7.30 p.m., with Emily Vo being the featured student performer. The event will be held through Google Meets and spots to perform are first come, first serve. Sign up to present and or RSVP through the Google form. To get the Google Meets invite, you must RSVP. See you there. Hey, Centurions. Today I'm here with Mrs. Velasquez. What do you do at Cypress High School? I currently teach world history, and I also teach honors and world history e-learning for the district and one section of American government. What is your favorite part about working at Cypress High School? My favorite part so far since I'm new to Cypress this year has been the community. I feel like admin and teachers, they've really reached out to uh, help me even virtually, right? Trying mm -hmm. to adapt to Cypress. And students have been fantastic. So working with them has been, been awesome so far. Yay. <laughs> what do you miss most about not being at school if it were normal? I miss just the student interaction and students in my room, not even, yes, I miss the teaching, but just students hanging out at lunch, after school, mm -hmm. tutoring sessions, so just having that that community of just kind of being and kind of feeding off each other's energy is something I miss in the actual classroom versus the virtual classroom. What do you look forward to when we return face-to-face -face school? I look forward to moving into my room officially. I think <laughs> over the summer I move my boxes, but I think I still have one or two I still need to unpack. So I've never really been in my room. So to really kind of make it a home and get to know my neighbors, which is the history department. And yeah, just looking forward to meeting the students in person that I've been working with all year. That's really exciting too. Where did you go to college or have you attended college? So I started at Fullerton College. Uh, I did two years there and I transferred to Cal State Fullerton. Um, so at Cal State Fullerton, I received my bachelor's, my teaching credential, and my master's program. Nice. Um, what did you like about college? As silly as it sounds, I really liked the lectures. I liked the learning. I liked, because I was a history major, I liked going to class and opening up my notebook and listening to the professor. and reading, having a cup of coffee in the quad, so I just really enjoyed that process, just having time to learn new things and just kind of college really opened up my, my world, so to speak. What is something that students may not know about you? Well, since I'm new to Cyprus, I'm not new to the district. I actually graduated from the district. I'm a graduate of Laura High School. And then I taught one year at Dale Junior High School, um, and then I just spent some time over at Anna High School. So I've taught all grade levels. I've taught 7th, 8th, 9th, 10th, 12th. I guess I just still need U.S. history, but that's it. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Thank you for taking your time to do this interview with me. Of course. And now for your sports report. Here are the sports for this week. For today, baseball is going against Mission Viejo and softball is going against California. Also, boys basketball is going against La Habra and girls tennis is going against Tustin. 
Boys and girls soccer will be going against Valencia. Tomorrow, boys volleyball is up against Long Beach Poly. Our next games will be on Thursday where boys volleyball is taking on Pacifica and softball is taking on El Modena. Also, badminton will be going against Cerritos and football is going against Pacifica. Lastly, girls tennis will be going against Pacifica and boys and girls golf will be going against Kennedy. On Friday, it will be baseball versus Servite and boys tennis versus Pacifica. Swim will be taken on Oxford and boys soccer will take on Kennedy. Also, girls soccer will be going against Kennedy and on Saturday, baseball will go against Santa Margarita. For Spears squad, there will be cheer and song workshops April 19th through 21st and tryouts on April 22nd. Good luck to all athletes this week. Here are your Centurion standouts for the week. Don't forget to recognize your fellow classmates by nominating them using the QR code shown or the link that is in the Cypress ASB bio. Good morning, Centurions. Dr. Hodson here. Hope that you had a great holiday weekend. We are back at it again this week. A uh, couple of reminders for our athletics at this point. Most sports are still um, only allowed to have two family members come to watch their child play a sport. So we just need to kind of keep that in mind. Um, for our athletes who are on campus, if you have practice, we're really not allowed to go watch a sport. So um, unfortunately, when your practices are over, even if there's a soccer game or a, a lower level football game on campus, um, we really need to, to exit campus after our practices. Um, hoping that the, those restrictions ease up. You know, obviously, fortunately, our numbers are, are doing well here and we continue to um, well, the positivity rate continues to drop. Um, and so we're doing well here in Southern California. Uh, and, and if, if that continues, then, then maybe some of those restrictions will ease. As always, I'll keep you posted on that. Uh, another thing to talk about is graduation. Uh, by the end of this week, we'll know exactly what day and time that our graduation ceremony is gonna be. Um, so that's good news for our seniors. It's either going to be May 26th or May 27th. We know that, so it'll be one of those two days. We should know by the end of this week, and I will put that information out just as soon as we have it. All right, I wanna thank you guys all for hanging in there. Our teachers, our students, our staff. Um, you know, gosh, talk about the light at the end of the tunnel. We're, we're just so close. We really are. I mean, I feel like another month, another six weeks, um, hope, hopefully we're going to be in a place where, uh, by summer we're really close to back to normal, potentially even having students on campus for summer school. And then as you got the message last week, looking for the fall, having students on campus all five days. So let's continue to do what we can to, uh, keep the spread down, uh, which, which like I said, I think we're, we're doing, um, and we'll be in a great place uh, in just a very, very short time. All right, everybody, have a great week. Hang in there, and we'll talk to you soon. Stay positive, even when it feels like your life is falling apart. Bye, unknown. Thanks for watching. Um, make sure to check your email for weekly updates, and let's finish up this year strong.